Now, according to British intelligence, Russian forces have made significant gains in Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. The report says Russian troops have likely taken the city center along with the west bank of the Bakhmutka River. Ukraine denies that, but admits the situation is difficult. Bakhmut has been under siege for months, seeing some of the fiercest fighting of the war. This footage purportedly shows heavy fighting near Bakhmut. Pro-Russian channels on the social media platform Telegram are full of similar clips. Drone footage of central Bakhmut. British intelligence sources say the area is now likely under Russian control. Ukraine's military is simply calling the situation difficult. In the direction of Bakhmut, the enemy is trying to take the city completely and is continuing its attacks. <laughs> Kiev says that despite the tough situation, Ukrainian troops are holding ground against Russian units that have them outnumbered. Ukraine's military says Russia is making tactical advances, but paying a high price for them. But the pressure is mounting. Ukraine's supply lines are reportedly increasingly at risk. This footage shot on Thursday shows the main road into the city, one of the key supply routes. How did we make it down this road? Well, we made it through, with God's help. As the battle for Bakhmut rages, the Pentagon says it is investigating a leak of classified U.S. and NATO documents concerning Ukrainian military readiness and losses. Both Ukraine and the U.S. say the documents may have been tampered with and could contain misinformation that would benefit Moscow. For more of what's happening in Bakhmut, we're joined by Frank Ledvich, who served as an officer in the British Royal Naval Reserve and today is a military analyst. Hello, sir. Explain to us what really is at play in Bakhmut. Well, Eddie, what the Ukrainians are deciding in the next few days is whether the losses that they are inflicting on the Russians are worth the losses that they are sustaining themselves, which is a calculation, by the way, they've been observing now for the last two or three months. The problem they have, according to British intelligence, is that their withdrawal route is uh, is now threatened. It's uh, the 0506 road west out of Bakhmut. Mm. Once that becomes seriously threatened, the Ukrainians will make a decision, which could happen tomorrow, it could happen another week or two weeks, but they will have to make the decision to, to withdraw very quickly. They've demonstrated in the past that if they do that, they can conduct a fighting withdrawal very effectively, as they did in Severodonetsk and several other places mm. over the last year or so. So that's what's happening, intense street fighting mm. in the centre. Mm. So uh, British intelligence said Russia likely, keyword to note here, likely took part of the city, including the centre. What do you read into the use of the word likely? The Ukrainians have been exceptionally good at the control of information. So I think it's genuinely the case that Western intelligence services are not cited on what's happening in detail. And that's the way it should be. The Ukrainians, and we in fact, would be the same. We would call that operational security. So what British intelligence and other analysts are doing is, is looking at the evidence available from both sides on, on social media channels from their own reconnaissance. And they have analysed or assessed, assessed actually, that, that that's what's happening. And they also assessed, by the way, what's happened over the last few weeks is that the uh, the, the, the Wagner Group, which have been mm. supposedly leading in, in Bakhmut and promised to take the city, have now been have, have uh, developed much better command and control arrangements with the army. And they've been reinforced by the airborne. So that's sustained a momentum which we thought the Russians had lost about a month ago. Mm. How could the situation on the ground evolve this spring? Well, there will be an offensive. We are certain of that. The offensive will be designed to shape the environment for a retaking of Crimea. That's the central gravity in this war. That is, as General Hodges said on this very channel, the critical ground, Crimea. So we can expect the Ukrainians to attack over the next four to six weeks 
probably sooner than later, I would suggest, uh, towards Crimea, with the objective of uh, forcing the Russians, uh, essentially of collapsing Russian forces. And we can expect that to happen very, very quickly. However, viewers should have in mind, I think, that the other thing the Ukrainians have been very good at over the last, uh, over the last year is deception. So watch out. If there is an assault somewhere, it may well be a feint. And let's hope that they'll deceive, uh, deceive the Russians uh, in so doing. But to answer your question directly, we're looking at an offensive within the next month. Ukrainian forces developing now about three core, that's between 60 and 100,000 people. They're moving forward to their jumping off points. The okay. preparation of the battlefield will take place from artillery quite soon. And we will see that assault going forward. Frank Ledovic, military analyst. Thank you. Thank you, sir.